Welcome back to the Z Champagne Radio Show. Welcome back, I Love Music Army. Welcome back, Journey fans and everybody that's been following this crazy feud and lawsuits and just about everything under the sun that's going on with the band called Journey. And I know you know who and what I am talking about. And we even got some Steve Perry stuff we're going to throw in here as well because believe it or not, even though he's not involved in this lawsuit, Uh, Steve Perry is the key. He's the puppet master, and I'm going to explain that a little bit later in the video. But let's get to the video itself and the information here in this lawsuit first, okay? Now, in this lawsuit, let me read this to you. It says, Kane's new court filing accuses Sean of maxing out an American Express account with a $1 million limit while exceeding a daily hotel fee cap of $1,500. Instead, the suit claims Neil Sean has spent up to $10,000 a night. Wow. Are you kidding me? $10,000 a night? I mean, what are you doing for $10,000 a night? Really? I mean, come on. The lawyer also says that payments have been blocked and finances are allegedly in such disarray that the crew and production company couldn't be paid during their ongoing stadium tour. Now, I have heard rumors from some of my friends that uh, people have jumped ship on the tour. Uh, roadies, technicians, uh, gaffers, you know, uh, have quit because they haven't gotten paid. And I would never have thought that Journey wouldn't be paying or have problems paying any of their crew members, that's for sure. Now, if you're a big-time Journey fan, maybe you've seen the documentary. I think it's on YouTube somewhere, Frontiers and Beyond, where Herbie, Her- Herbie, but I can't even say it. I'm tongued. Herbie Herbert. Did I get that right? Uh, they filmed this whole thing backstage about the crew and everything that the, the people did and uh, how they took care of the roadies. It, it's almost impossible to believe that they would do the roadies just like that. But, you know, times change. People change. But let's get back to the lawsuit, okay? It says right here, Kane's lawyers argued that unforeseen strains on cash flow now pose a severe threat of harm to the company and Journey's storied history. <laughs> I got tongue-tied today. Of musical greatness. They say the band is suffering through divided loyalties, crude affections, and general tension, which verifies what I was talking about. Some of the roadie friends I know that are out there doing stuff like that. Uh, still, I am too old to do it or be involved in although I have been in the past for many nationals. Um, I'm going to say that, uh, you know, this is a serious lawsuit, and there's one guy that holds the key to this whole mess, and I'm going to get to that in just a second here. Uh, It says uh, it's a public battle between petitioner and respondent impacting the band's reputation throughout the music industry. Kane says that this far-reaching deadlock can only be resolved through restructuring Freedom 2020, which is a company that Neil Sean and him actually started, and there's only two people on the board, Kane and Sean. Now, they've asked, Kane's asked for a third person, the court up to appoint a third person to break the tie votes and what should be happening here uh, with this particular company. Now, there's one guy who holds the key to all this, and I'm going to get to him right about now. Now, for those people that do not know this, uh, Neil, Sean, and Jonathan Cain have sold their rights to the Journey songs. Uh, Steve Perry has not. Okay, so, uh, you know, they got a lot of money for what they sold, and a lot of artists these days, obviously, are selling their rights. I mean, Kiss just sold theirs for, I don't know, $300 billion or million or something like that. Queen, you know, Bruce Springsteen, just to name a few. But we're talking about, Several hundred artists have sold their rights to their songs, and there's a reason for that. Of course, as you know, there's no record stores anymore. People aren't buying albums. Uh, they stream it for free, They're, you know, and that's why ticket prices are so high, in case you didn't know. But, um, you, you know, and the streaming services supposedly are not paying the artists, so these companies are buying up all these songs. Now, that's going to be... Um, 
all these publishing rights, you know, all the the rights to this this music. That's that's a topic for another video and why they're doing it because I got news for you on that. But let's get to Steve Perry. Uh, you see, if there's money trouble, who's the only one that can save them? That would be Steve Perry. Now, I understand that everybody out there that has watched me do these journey videos for the last year or so, Steve Perry would never come. Steve Perry, Steve Perry's not. No, 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 no. Money talks. Money, money. Always follow the money, right? What ends up happening when you follow the money? You get to the bottom of the matter here. Well, obviously, there's money trouble and journey between Jonathan Kane, Neil Sean. I mean, Neil Sean's living the high life. $10,000 a night. That hotels or expenses for hotels or whatever. That's... That's pretty extravagant. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm assuming he's not spending, you know, twenty hours a day in a hotel room where he needs an extravagant, you know, room or anything like that. You don't need anything that extravagant, sure. If you're a journey or a national artist, you want something nice, but you don't have to get ten grand a night, you know, or eight grand a night and two thousand dollars on night on food. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, you know the entire situation, but I do know what the lawsuit says. And I do know that Steve Perry can save the day and by doing what I mentioned in my other video. And if you haven't watched that video, I recommend that you watch my Steve Perry journey videos and how and why he's going to come back. And now I'll explain everything to you. But really, what do you think about this journey situation? Are you feeling sorry for Arnell? Because everybody's bashing Arnell. Oh, Arnell ain't nothing. He's in it. Why? I mean, this kid's done nothing wrong. Why are you going to bash Arnell? I mean, he's doing the best he can. I think he's got a great voice. Uh, I think he sings the songs very well. I mean, yeah, he's not Steve Perry. Who is? Right? Come on, who is? Why are you dogging this kid? You know, I mean, I I applaud him personally. And the music they made together, that last album I, Journey did with Arnell, I thought was very good. But what do you think, I Love Music Army? Drop that comment down there. I read every single comment. I want to hear from you on what you think about this feud. Did you watch my other Journey videos on how and why Steve Perry will come back to Journey? How they're going to do it? What they're going to do? Because I'm telling you, it's going to happen. You guys are going to be out there. You're telling me no, no, no. But when it does, you just come running on back to Steve Champagne because he's going to say nothing because... I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't never say anything bad like I told you so. Or <laughs> Can we have fun here on the channel? Sure we can. I'm hitting that magical play button. We're going to pay some bills. The Steve Champagne Radio Show. We'll be back. We got great videos lined up this week. Oh, my goodness, God. Studio One is on fire. You're on fire. Journey's on fire. The whole world's on fire. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, we got some great stuff for you. We'll see you next time. Take care. Peace, love. We're out of here.